guys. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about um, the process of writing our Thanksgiving letters. So these are going to be due tomorrow, um, which means that when you get to class, you are going to have these finished, okay? So you should be able to, for the most part, complete them um, today during class, but if not, you will need to finish them tonight. Um, not only is this going to be a daily grade, but this is also, so, and in the daily grades, by the way, you only have one grade right now, and some of you have some zeros, which has been kind of hurting your grade, so this grade goes into that category, so that could really um, help you, okay? So, not only is it a grade, but this is my favorite activity. I feel like I said that a lot, but this really is my favorite activity because it is like such a time, like this Thanksgiving next week, and that is a time where you really need to stop, and I'm talking to myself too, stop and think about all of the people that you're thankful for that you probably don't tell them that you're thankful for them enough or ever because a lot of times we just assume that people know that we're thankful for them, and I'm sure they do, but it is so, so, so nice to just hear somebody say like, hey, I'm thankful for you. Um, you know, when you have people in your life that work so hard for you and that love on you so much, um, it's just so nice to hear. So one thing that we do every year during um, Thanksgiving is we write letters to the people that, some of the people that we're thankful for. Um, you are writing three. That is the least amount that you can write. If you want to write more than three, I think that is fabulous. And I encourage that. I have as many note cards as you possibly need. Um, and I would love for you to do that. So the letters only have to be five sentences. They can be more, obviously, but they have to be at least five. Um, and I just want you to think, like, the first thing I want you to do is think about the people that you could possibly write to, okay? So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this document, and let's just, I'm gonna just type, people I am thankful for. You do not have to make this list. You can make this list in your head, but I just kind of want to help you get some ideas. So first, I'm just going to think about me personally, okay? So the so people that come to my mind that I'm thankful for are my husband. So I'm going to put CJ. I definitely don't tell him enough that I'm thankful for him. So I definitely probably need to write him a letter. Um, so my husband, my kids, um, my sister, you guys, I'm very thankful for y'all. Um, Mr. Handel. He, you know, is our new principal this year, and he is fabulous, and he is so encouraging and supportive to all of his people, so he's definitely somebody that I am thankful for. Um, let's see who else. Um, I don't know if you guys, well, you do. You know Miss Smith, who is the counselor. She is one of my good friends, and I am very thankful for her. I have a neighbor named Sarah, and she is one of my best friends. I'm very thankful for her and her husband. Um, they like love my kids like they are their own. I'm also very thankful for their kids. They play with my kids all the time and love them so much. Um, let's think. So, I mean, if I could write a letter to a dog, I would, because I'm very thankful for Mac, my dog. Um, my mom, so she's somebody that I'm thankful for. Um, my mother-in-law, that is CJ's mom, um, Miss Darlene, she is wonderful. Mr. Ryan, who is my father-in-law, he's also wonderful. Um, the list could really just go on and on and on and on and on because there are so many people that I really need to stop and tell that I'm thankful for them. Also, Miss Downer in the office, um, she, like this year, having Henry at MRA has been wonderful, but there are a lot of events that, you know, they have in the kindergarten that teachers have to miss for if they have kids there, and she is the person that takes care of all the subs, so I know that's stressful for her. With everybody getting sick, she has to try to fill in all those spots, so I'm very thankful for her and all that she does. Okay, so now let's think about you guys, okay? So if I was you, so people that you could think about, you could think about your parents, and I know maybe you're in that stage of life, like you're a middle school student, you're like, oh, my parents, like, they're the worst. But guess what? They're not the worst, and they love you so much, and probably the things that you think are stupid that they're telling you to do, you will appreciate one day. I promise you okay they're smarter than you they're wise okay so parents um i think that those are great people for you to write to um siblings so again you might be in that stage of life where you're like oh i hate my sister i hate my brother and hate is a very strong word you really don't hate them but you might not get along with them right now i think i've told this story i have a younger sister 
we loved each other when we were little and then we got to that like Ugh, I don't like you stage like around middle school high school and then when I went to college um, we got closer and now she's one of my very best friends so I promise it comes back around so siblings um, friends I do not want you to write all of your letters to your friends if you have three letters that you have to write and you're only gonna write three you can pick one for a friend but I really want you to like I mean your friends right now in middle school are like your whole world okay I get that you probably tell your friends all the time that you that you love them especially girls they know okay but there are people in your life that maybe don't know that don't hear it so really you know maybe choose one um but if you're going to write more than three letters then you know you can do your three to people that maybe don't hear that as much and then you can write more to your friends okay i'm going to mail all of these so you can write as many as you want but please really think about who you're writing to okay so friends parents maybe coaches um, coaches work like so hard to try to help you be your best. They are such great role models. Um, teachers, teachers, um, again, like they, they love you. Maybe you don't realize it sometimes they love you. They work really, really hard. So maybe you could think about like a teacher that, you know, has like really been encouraging you lately or has always been there for you or, you know, works really hard and you want to thank them. Um, again, like the principal, maybe you have, um, you have noticed how hard he's working and he's maybe done something for you or been there for you or had an event that maybe you think was like really awesome and you want to thank him for that. Um, maybe people at church. So one of my like people that I like a mentor to me, her name was Miss Sylvia when I was um, growing up and my parents, as y'all know, they were like, they fought all the time. They were going through a divorce and Miss Sylvia, who was my Sunday school teacher, actually, she was somebody that I could always go to. Um, like, I would literally just, like, leave my house when I was able to drive and just go to her house. And she would pray with me and talk to me. So maybe there is a Sunday school teacher or a youth leader or somebody that you can um, write to. Also, maybe, like, a worship leader. So maybe, like, in your youth group, you have someone that leads worship that you um, want to write to. Let's see. Maybe um, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents. Um, let's see who else. Maybe a neighbor. So as you can see, like above here, um, we are really close to our neighbors. So maybe you have a neighbor that you're really close to that you look up to. Maybe just a family friend. Maybe you have... Um, so it's not a neighbor, but they are really close to your family, and they're they, they're always around, and they just always are there for you. Let's see. So just things like that. So just think about like people in your life that you don't tell them enough that you're thankful for them. Okay. And I really want you to be honest. I don't want you to pick like I said. You can pick one friend if you're writing three letters. If you're writing more than three, then you can write to multiple friends. But I want you to really take this seriously, okay? Because I promise you, you might not think it's a big deal, but old people love letters. They love them. They will probably keep them forever. They might hang them on the refrigerator, put it on their bulletin board. It's a really big deal. They will cry. It will be great. They'll cry happy tears because it makes them so happy. I promise. I'm not just saying that. I keep every letter that I've gotten, I keep it because it means so much to me, okay? So now I want to talk about like what you're going to say. So here is... I'm a postcard. So you're going to get a postcard. This is the front. This is obviously not the side you're writing on. You're going to turn it over to the back and it's going to look like this. Okay. As you can see, there is a line down the middle. To the left is where you're going to start your letter. To the right, as you can see, if you um, write big or um, write more than you're supposed to, or like me, I just write big. These are just five sentences. You are going to go over to this side. As you can also see, you're going to have... Um, who you're writing to and their mailing address over here as well okay now you do not have to write something called a return address because as you can see this is an mra postcard to the return address is mra so what that means is the reason why there's return address let's say you mail it to somebody and maybe they got a new address and um the mailman or mailwoman would send it back the letter back to the return address because um they couldn't deliver it for some reason and if that happened we could figure out what happened and try to get it to them so i put my address this is actually my home address please don't come and roll my yard because i didn't want to put coach weavers here so i chose coach weaver very random but he just came to my mind first because 
as y'all know, the Veterans Day program was last week, and he, like, last minute just, he made the program, and he made the graphics, and he already is in charge of so many things, like the graphics for the Jumbotron and all that. So I was just very thankful for him and need to write him a letter. So the requirements for the letter, you needs to be at least five sentences, okay? You can't fit much more unless you write tiny on this postcard anyway, but at least five sentences. Everybody's letter is going to have a greeting. So as you can see, that's the greeting, and it's going to have a closing. That's your closing. So if you want to use my first sentence, that is totally fine, but this is just an idea. So really think about, like, the specific ways that you're thankful for the people that you're writing to. So I wrote Dear Coach Weaver, so capital D, capital C, capital W, comma. Thanks, and look how I indented. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, comma, and, this is a compound sentence, and I wanted to take a moment to stop and thank people that mean a lot to me. You always step in and help me anytime I need it. Thank you for always helping and doing such a fabulous job. You are so great at what you do. I hope you know that I am thankful for you. I hope you know that. I am thankful for you. Your friend, comma, Ashley Garavelli. So your closing is going to have, like, your friend, love, sincerely, um, something like that, and then a comma, and then underneath it, you put your first name and your last name, okay? So you start here, you end here if you need to. If not, you would just move this part down. If you already know their mailing address, then you can go ahead and put that there. If not, you need to find their address by tomorrow. So let's say I didn't know his address. I would just put Coach Weaver up here because I, that's who I'm writing to. It's like if you were writing to your parents, like if I was writing to my mom, I'm not going to put mom here. I'm going to put her actual names. I would put Regina Britt, okay? I'll put her first name and her last name. If you're writing to both your parents in one letter, you could put Mr. and Mrs. and then put your last name. So if I was writing to both my parents and they were married, I would say Mr. and Mrs. Britt, okay? Um so pretty much, like I said, you're going to have write three letters. You can write more, but three is the requirement. You should be able to do that today if you get started. If not, you need to do it for homework and take the cards home with you, and then I need you to find the address. I can find addresses for teachers, um, and if you don't know your home address, I can find that, which I need you to learn your home address, but I can look that up as well. But other stuff, like you're going to have to um, look up yourself, okay, like ask a parent or send an email to a parent. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I can't wait for all these people to get your letters before Thanksgiving.